Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am packing for skiing. I never thought I'd be saying those words. I didn't think I would ever be going on a ski trip. Um, but I am. So, a little bit of context. Jack's family have been skiing for years and years and years. Jack started skiing when he was about four, I think. So, they've been going for a very long time. And Jack goes every single year, sometimes twice a year. And I have never, ever been skiing. It's going to be amazing. So, we're all going. Jack's whole family. We are going on Boxing Day and we get back the day after New Year's Day. So, we are there for a week. We are there for New Year's Eve, which is really fun. I think we're going to have an amazing, amazing time. So, I'm very excited. I think it's going to be the perfect end to the year and, like, the winter season. And when I get back, I've got a couple of months and then we're straight into spring. So, I'm really looking forward to it. I need to pack my bags, I need to sort out my looks, and I've tried on a couple of bits here and there, but I haven't tried on all my full outfits with accessories and everything like that. So I thought we could do that together today, and I will pack with you and show you how I plan my outfits, how I pack my bags, and yeah, we can just do it all together. I will also leave links below to all of the pieces that I include in this video. All of my skiing stuff is brand new because I didn't own anything, so I had to build up my ski wardrobe. And that is actually something I wanted to mention. So a lot of messages I've had about ski wear is it's so expensive and it is. Skiing is not a cheap trip and there are, I think, very few brands that bring out ski wear that is of a more affordable price, especially when you're like me and you want to have multiple pairs of salopettes or like different outfits. I guess if you were just buying one jacket and one pair of salopettes, I would probably spend a little bit more and just get one nice set but I wanted to have changes so I didn't want to be spending a thousand pounds on one outfit set when I wanted three of them so I think I found some really good more affordable pieces of ski wear that are still quite chic and they still fit really nicely and they're still a little bit more stylish so i hope you enjoy this video if you do please comment below and let me know or give it a like and yeah let's get into the pieces okay so first of all before we get into me showing you the pieces and trying them on i thought i would show you how i've planned my ski wardrobe so i usually do this for every single trip when i'm going for a while and i need a lot of outfits um, even if I go away for a couple of nights but I'm going with an influencer friend like Nadia or Georgia and I know that we're going to be shooting a lot, this is what I usually do. So I'm really organised, I know what to bring and I can actually visually see it and see how I can plan looks with the same pieces without getting it all out of my wardrobe. So let me show you what I do. So using Canva I create a board um, I've just labelled this one Ski Looks and I basically plan my outfits for each occasion. So this is my travel outfit. We are actually driving to um, Val d'Isere which is where we're going in France. So I just wanted something super comfortable to sit in the car, um, some layers so that when I get there I'm not freezing cold and I'm going to wear my more bulkier coat um, just so I don't have to worry about packing that. But, like I said, we are driving so I can just fill up the car with all my stuff and it's super easy. So, this is my, these are my ultra mini Uggs. I've got my Celine crop top and then a pair of leggings. These are actually split hem leggings from Opoly. And then I've also got my boucle bomber jacket which I can then layer underneath my big white coat. And then we go straight into the outfits for the slopes. So as we are going in December, it's going to be very, very cold. Much colder than it is when Jack usually goes in March. So I need to make sure I'm warm. I am always cold, so being warm is such a necessity to me. This is the first outfit. I've got a thermal set. This is from Dare to Be. And then I have some dog tooth salopettes with a polo neck jumper and a black ski jacket. Black ski gloves with little faux fur bits and then my goggles and then mixing and matching this I have another outfit here which is all black so I've got a different you can't really see it on the camera but I will show them show them to you on my dog tooth thermals which I am literally obsessed with I cannot wait to wear them these are from dare to be and then my black salopettes and black ski jacket and then I've got my cream acne studios hat 
goggles and gloves as well. So a nice all black outfit there. And then moving on to the second section, this is my all white outfit. Another set of the Dare to Be Thermals. I've got my white salopettes and white jacket. And then I've also got this cream North Face fleece, which I've actually had for ages. Jack bought me this the last time he went skiing and it's so perfect because it's got a little half zip. And then white ski gloves and goggles. And then obviously you can see the, the theme here. So I really mix and match my pieces. So I've got another dog tooth thermal set here. Then I've got the dog tooth trousers, but this time it's with the white jacket and the black gloves and the goggles. So I've kind of mixed and matched my looks from dog tooth and black, all black, all white, and then white and dog tooth. And obviously I could then, if I wanted to for another day, I could obviously do like black with the white trousers or I could do white with the black. So yeah, lots of options here. And then these are, because I don't know what it's like skiing and I don't know what our agenda is gonna be, I thought I would plan things for lots of occasions so that I'm prepared. So these are more kind of chilled everyday outfits that I could wear if we went out for drinks, if we went to have a look around the town, if we went for lunch, whatever the occasion. So I've got my thermal set. These leggings are really thick and they're actually more like trousers. So I could probably wear them with a polo neck jumper, my faux fur coat, which I've had for years, a little snow Russian hat, and then my snow boots as well. And then very much along the same lines here, a pair of skinny jeans, which I would probably wear um, thermals underneath. Novo London polo neck cashmere body. A, cab a cable knit jumper and then a nice big coat and white snow boots, mittens and a hat as well. So really nice and cosy. And then this is another kind of cosy outfit that I could wear for lunch or dinner or drinks, whatever the occasion. So I've got the same skinny jeans, a grey turtleneck jumper, my grey and other stories coat and then the white snow boots and white earmuffs to accessorise. And then we're moving over to dinner. So we have got dinners in the chalet a few nights and then dinners out another few nights. So I didn't know what to wear. I wanted to dress up a little bit um, but I didn't really know what was suitable to wear. So I might not end up wearing these things. They might be too dressy. I've got no idea. I could just end, end up wearing this type of look but I'm gonna bring these just in case. So I've got my thermal leggings, then I've just got a knitted dress, just really plain black knitted dress with knee high boots, faux fur coat, and then a sparkly headband just to give it a little bit of something. And then another dinner outfit is jeans, a black top, a little jacket, coat, knee high boots, and then mittens and a bow in my hair. So really simple. I've not gone overboard with the outfits for dinner because I feel like I, I'm gonna end up mixing matching things. So for example, I could wear these jeans with this polo neck jumper, or I don't know. I feel like I've got a lot of options here that I could play with, and I might possibly bring a couple of other long sleeve tops, but apart from that, that's all I'm gonna bring. And then for the chalet, we are gonna be having a couple of evenings in the chalet, so I wanted to bring my coziest, warmest outfits. So I've got two outfits here, which are more loungewear based. So I've got my acid wash joggers and a Nina Bing hoodie and cashmere socks, of course. And then I've got my H&M knitted beige loungewear set with cashmere socks. And I thought I could also wear my mini Uggs as well. So really simple, quite cozy. I could obviously wear the knitted dress with tights if we were having a nicer dinner in the chalet and everyone was kind of dressing up a bit more. Or I could just wear a pair of leggings and a black jumper. Just very simple. I like to have options and I think it's nice that you can see it very clearly. You can mix and match. And yeah, it's just such an easy way of packing. So all of my ski stuff is here. I've kept it in the office for the past couple of weeks while I've been collecting it all. And I haven't unboxed anything. I haven't really tried anything on properly. I also just had another order from ASOS that I did last minute. So I'm gonna show you what I've got and we can try it on. I'm gonna start with like accessories and bits like that first. Most of these are actually from Amazon um, because they just had such good prices of things and it's great delivery, it's really reliable. I could buy everything at once and it was just so easy. So I will link all the pieces below. This is a little Russian hat and I actually really wish I got this in white as well. How cute is that? I might see if I can get it in cream on next day delivery. Um, but oh my god, I love it. It's so cute absolutely huge but so warm because it covers your whole entire head 
I just love it. Then I got tons of socks. So what is quite handy is that Jack has been skiing so many times and he also knows me inside and out. So he knows that when I get cold, I get in a bad boot. <laughs> so he said to me, make sure you have socks, pack socks and then pack more socks because you can never have enough. So I have gone to town on the socks and these are all proper skiing socks so they are really thick they're going to be really warm and my feet aren't going to rub in my ski boot so i went for i managed to find a pack of four women's socks so i bought two packs of those so i've got eight pairs of the same socks they're kind of like a black with little bits of pink in i'm not really too fussed what they look like to be honest um just as long as they're warm so i've got eight pairs of those which are literally all the same and then I also saw these ones and I thought these could be a good option to have and they're quite similar to ones that Jack has. These are merino wool so I thought these would be really really thick. I'm actually now wishing I just bought loads of these instead of those ones um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So these are what they look like. These are super long and thick and I can feel how squishy they are. They've actually got padding around like the heel and the bottom of the foot as well which obviously is going to help with being comfortable. I also picked up my ski gloves. These were actually from Mountain Warehouse, which is a really good shop if you're looking for sports or ski stuff. I love these so much. I actually tried these on when I had my first ski lesson um, a few weeks ago in the ski shop and I knew I wanted to get them. So I got them in black and I also got the same ones in white as well. But what I love about these is the inside of the gloves are completely fleece so they are so warm and snuggly they also have a little tightening strap as well so you're not going to get any snow in your gloves they're just going to be really nice and secure then i also picked up a pair of these gloves which are just really simple thin wool gloves these are merino wool i think oh my god they are so soft um but the good thing about these gloves is they have that little section on the top of the fingers which are for technology. So you can actually go on your phone while wearing your gloves, which I think is just brilliant because it's gonna be freezing, we're gonna be in the snow, but if I want to go on my phone and take some pictures or something like that, I can obviously take my ski gloves off, but I'll have these on underneath, which I think is just so handy. And then I also got some little earmuffs. I thought these would just be so handy. These are actually really weird because they look so small, but they are expandable how cute are these oh my god i love them i went for white because i thought they'd look quite nice against my dark hair um but i love them so adorable i really wish i got this black hat in white now but oh well not the end of the world <laughs> i also got a little snood a little neck scarf so i can put this on um underneath my ski jacket and i can push it down i can pull it up it also has a drawstring so i can tighten it like right around my chin so it'll be super warm um you can also bring this like up onto your face as well if you want to this is really really fleecy and thick again from amazon and then i got multiple sets of thermals i know that when you are moving around and you're wearing so many layers it's so easy to get super sweaty and hot and going from like really cold outside to inside a restaurant you do get so hot so i wanted to make sure i had a lot of ski things in case they got sweaty and like gross so i picked up a few different types to mainly see what they were like firstly i got a few sets from dare to be which are the ones i'm most excited about dare to be by the way is literally the most insane website for ski wear i can't recommend it enough i bought all of these things myself by the way um but i was just so surprised at how good the things were and the quality of them are just amazing so i got um two sets of these dog tooth thermals which i'm obsessed with i love them so much they're super thick and stretchy they're actually thermo regulating fabrics so they work with your body to make it like a comfortable te temperature and i think these are just gorgeous i just love this print so much so obviously i got the trousers and then also the thermal little top as well and what i love about this top is it's got a, a zip which Jack actually said to me, he all of his thermal tops are um, ones with little zips. And he said it's just quite handy if you stop for lunch or a drink and you take your coat off and you just want to like unzip your thing because you feel a bit claustrophobic. He said it's, it's quite handy to have. So yeah, 
very pleased with that so i got two of the dog tooth sets and then i also just got a really simple plain one this one is just kind of like a charcoal gray color really simple this is actually just um a normal top so it's not a little zip it's more like a kind of gym top i guess um really lovely material same thing applies really good quality and then the leggings as well and then I got my ski goggles. I haven't actually opened any of these up yet, so God knows what they look like. Probably should have done that because if they don't fit me, I'm a bit screwed. I wanted to get white ski goggles because I also got a white helmet. And I just feel like white looks really nice when you have dark hair. I also didn't want to get a coloured lens. A lot of goggles have really colourful lenses and I just think they look a bit ugly. So I wanted to get a really simple, this is almost like a bronzy colour. These are from Quicksilver, by the way, but I did get them from Amazon. Oh, that's better. Okay, these are super adjustable, so that's really good. They fit me really well. I'm very pleased with them. Oh my God, I look like I'm, I'm actually a skier now. Let's hope I can actually ski. <laughs> yeah, I really love these. I think they're gorgeous. Also, really good price. I know that you can get ski goggles from like Celine and stuff like that, but um, I think unless you go skiing every year and you're going to for the rest of your life there's no point investing 400 pounds in ski goggles i think i got these for like 50 pounds or 40 pounds um so yeah i'm quite pleased about that they also have a little bag to put them in which is good so they're gonna stay protected in your bag and then i got my own helmet which is not necessary you can actually hire your helmet you don't need to buy your own one and obviously I've never been skiing before, so it may seem a bit extra that I've bought my own helmet. But when I did my ski lesson, my instructor, Chris, advised me to buy my own helmet because I have a really small head. He said, you'll end, you'll end up having to have a children's one and it's just a bit gross. So I thought if my instructor, who has literally learned to ski and is like a professional skier, has advised me to do it, I'm just gonna do it. And then Jack's family said, it's probably just better to have your own helmet. You can choose what it looks like. You can decide on the comfort of it, the size, everything like that. So I got a white helmet. So let's try this on and see what this looks like and if it fits me. Fingers crossed it does. Oh my God, perfect fit. That fits perfectly. So then I've got my goggles on my helmet like that. Oh my God, I literally look like a professional skier. Also, this is so top heavy. I feel like I'm just gonna fall over with this on. How do motorcyclists walk around with their helmets on? Like you literally, it feels like I'm just falling over. Oh, I actually love the combination. It looks so nice. I'm really, really pleased I went for the white. I think it looks so nice. Okay, and then the final thing I bought from Amazon was loads of these heat pads and this might be a bit extra i don't know but i am just always cold and i hate the thought of going out and being freezing cold and not being able to do anything about it um or you know when you've been in the snow or you've been out and it's freezing and you get home and you cannot warm up i bought these heat pads because i just thought they would warm me up so you attach them to your clothing and then they keep you warm so for example i could wear this like here on my tummy i could attach it to my thermals or on my back and yeah it's gonna keep me warm and then we're on to the actual ski clothes so i bought all of my well nearly all of my ski jackets and salopettes from asos um they had the best range of stuff the best sizing and really good prices as well so i got this one from the asos 4505 range and this jacket fits me so well it's a proper ski jacket so it's got all the pockets that you need it's got a little zip pocket on the arm to put your ski pass in zip up pockets at the front so i can put my phone in these pockets and zip it up and it's not going to fall out and then it also has a little waist belt which i really wanted because i just wanted it to look chic and i didn't want to be on the slopes feeling really heavy and like bulky with loads of stuff i really wanted to have a belt on the jacket just to like cinch it in um so yeah this is my first ski coat this is the white one and the hood is gorgeous it's got this white fur all around the top which i just love and then i got some white salopettes as well these are actually from the top shop snow range which i am so impressed with i think it is brilliant 
amazing prices and the quality is so good so these are actually skinny cellopets they have little adjustable bits on the inside so if they're too big or small you can adjust that which is brilliant they have a belt which just clips in nicely as well to keep them up and then the because they are skinny cellopets they have a little um stirrup at the bottom as well so i can put this over my first pair of socks and then probably put my second pair of socks over the salopettes and then my um boots i will put on over the top so it's nice and secure zip up pockets on the trousers as well and yeah i just really really like them i think they're just a more flattering style of salopet rather than a really baggy pair and then i have my absolute favorite pair i really wanted a dog tooth um pair of salopettes so i managed to find these i think it's the perfect moment um trousers that i saw first of all but they're just so expensive i didn't want to spend that much money on a pair of salopettes so i found these ones from dare to be i think these were about 70 pounds could be wrong but i think that is brilliant i've already tried these on and they fit me so well that these are like the classic flared um salopette style they've got a little zip on the bottom as well to help you get your boots on and off little zip up pockets on the front there's also belt loops, which is quite handy as well. And yeah, just a super easy pair of salopettes, but I'm obsessed with this dog tooth print. I just think it's so cool. And then next up, I got a black set. So I actually ordered some black salopettes from ASOS and they were huge. They did not fit me at all. They were so long, literally for like a six foot model. Um, and they were just so big. There was no way they were gonna work. So I'm gonna have to return them. And I ended up buying these from TOG24. And these are what I would say are more kind of like classic salopettes. So they feel a little bit more like classic ski wear. They've got kind of like a different texture on the bottom. They're a little bit more flared as well. They've also got another lining inside of the trousers. So a little waterproof section with like a waistband detail. So they really hug onto your foot, obviously to stop the snow getting in. Little Velcro adjustable sections around the waist, which is really good. The only thing about these trousers is they don't have any pockets, which I'm quite surprised about. Uh, which isn't the end of the world but yeah no pockets on these ones but they're a really nice thick material and they actually feel quite spongy and they are fleece lined which is really nice and then the last thing i have to show you is my black jacket which has just arrived from asos this is exactly the same as the white one so it's from the same range it's pretty much the same jacket um but the detailings are just a little bit different so we've got the black hood the belt literally just the same jacket in black i then also got myself a pair of snow boots i already have some black ones but they are suede and they're not waterproof so i thought i need to get a waterproof pair of shoes that um are gonna withstand the snow so i got some proper snow boots i was looking at the moon boots but i didn't really like them i don't know why i don't know if it's because everyone has them or if they're just too big i felt like on my legs they'd just be so big so i went for something a little bit smaller these were from asos they were only 35 pounds which i can't believe and they are completely fleece lined inside just a really classic snow boot design so they've got the lace-ups they come up quite high on your shin i guess um but yeah the inside is completely fleece so these are going to be so warm and they're really spongy they've almost got like a mattress at the bottom so i love these i'm so pleased i got them because i was not sure whether i needed them but I think these are gonna be really, really handy. So that is everything I picked up that is new. I am gonna try these bits on with you and show you what they look like. Okay, sorry about the awkward angle that I'm filming at, um, but all the stuff is in here, so I thought I would just stay in here and try on a couple of bits for you. So firstly, I have the dog tooth thermal set from Dare to Be. I am in love with this. Oh my goodness, it is the softest, slinkiest like stretchy material i'm obsessed the leggings fit so so nicely they're really tight but they're not like uncomfortable tight you know sometimes leggings can be really um like suctiony and but not in a good way these are just like second skin they are so comfy they're really long actually as well and the top is also really long i don't know if it's just because it's really stretchy but um yeah really lovely a nice long sleeve so soft i feel like this is going to be really warm and obviously it's got the little zip so it's nice and high neck as well i actually think i'm going to end up wearing this a lot just 
generally at home because I really really love it. I'm going to put my black ski outfit on first and show you what it looks like. I haven't tried on the black jacket yet or the black salopette so let's see what they're like. So the trousers are from TOG24 and the jacket is from ASOS so let's see what these look like on. Oh they fit really really nicely. I got these in a size 8 because it was the smallest one they had. Um, they're like a little bit roomy. They're not like how I would normally have my trousers to fit. But I think that is the idea with salopettes. You don't want them to be like super tight because obviously you're going to have jumpers and stuff tucked in. But these little Velcro pads are so handy. So I've just brought them in a little bit just so they're a bit tighter. The leg length is perfect. You probably can't really see, but if I stand up here, um, perfect leg length. They just reach the floor, which is brilliant. So once I've got my boots on, they won't touch the floor, which is so good. I am so pleased with these salopettes. I literally couldn't be happier. How nice does this outfit just look on its own as well? The only thing that's a bit annoying is they don't have pockets, but not the end of the world. That's not like necessary. Let's get the full look and put the jacket on i probably will wear another layer over the top of this thermal top i'll probably wear just like a jumper or polar neck jumper or something depending on how cold it is once i get there but if i was going in march i probably would just wear um this it's actually got a little inside flap as well which is really nice because it makes it really tight to your body so you can do this bit up here these two little flaps I don't know if you can see that and then and that I can really feel that like um is really tight to my body which obviously just stops the jacket like flying around not that I'm going to be going at high speeds <laughs> so here is what the jacket looks like I've obviously got the gorgeous hood with the fur which is so nice and warm and then we've also got the belt as well so this is my black outfit. Oh my God, I love it. I'm so happy. And then I've got my black gloves that I will wear with this one. The gloves also clip together, which is really handy. God, I'm feeling a bit claustrophobic because I've got the radiator on. So there we go. All black, black gloves. Literally obsessed with how this outfit looks. I love how the jacket, because of the belt, you've got that really nice shape. And with the trousers as well, they're just the perfect fit. I am so happy with how all of this fits. Let's try on the dog tooth salopettes. And then I will also try on the white set as well. Oh my God, just from taking those off, I can't believe how warm these trousers are. I actually feel a bit cold after taking them off. I'm going to just keep the same thermals on because um, I got two sets of these and then the other set that I got are pretty much the same. So um, nothing new to try on. These are the dog tooth ones from Dare to Be. These actually feel quite tight with the leggings on underneath. So potentially I should have sized up in these ones. I don't think I really thought about um, having the thermals on underneath. They do fit fine, but they just feel a bit tighter than the black one. So these are the dog tooth salopettes. Again, really nice length, very similar to the black ones. They're just probably a little bit tighter, but that's not the end of the world. They are super comfy, loads of stretch, and they're such a nice soft material, which is really lovely. I have actually already tried this one on and I absolutely love it i got my jackets in a size 10 so i did size up so that i could fit a lot of layers on underneath and because it's got the belt detail um i feel like you don't need to have them as tight as you might have another jacket so it's also still got that same little flap in the middle because it's the same jacket just in white the belt as well which is so nice Oh my god, I love it. Also, how cute is this hood? Literally the cutest little hood. I love it. So obviously I would then have my helmet on with these outfits and my goggles as well. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with my hair, but I feel like I'm going to go on the first day and keep it down and then 
see how it is. If it is so annoying and knotty, I will probably end up plaiting it. Here is another little ski outfit. I've obviously got my gloves so I can choose a pair of gloves that I want to wear as well. And then I also have my white celepets from Topshop Snow. These are so nice because they're fleece lined and these are the tighter ones that I was saying about. So they don't have the kick flare. They are more of a straight leg, which I don't know if that is as traditional for ski wear. I know that Jack's family all have kind of like flared salopette. I just thought we'd mix and match. And these fit really, really nicely. I got these in a size six and they're the perfect fit. Gorge, I love these, they fit so nicely. Then obviously I could accessorize for apres ski with some little earmuffs and gloves and there we go. Obviously I would have my jacket on as well in love i'm literally ready to go skiing <laughs> oh, sorry if the angles just changed i just moved my camera um but i also thought i'm gonna try on the snow boots and see what they are like <gasps> oh my god they are like a mattress they're like memory foam inside so i got these in my normal size um and they do actually feel quite roomy so perfect for having some big socks on Oh my god, I am absolutely obsessed with these. I'm so glad I bought these. So this is how my suitcase is looking so far. I've got my salopettes rolled up here all my thermals in the middle and then my snow boots around the outside and then this one is just all of my accessories at the bottom and then my two jackets I will lay nice and flat on top and then clip those in and squish my suitcase shut um I still need to add some bits into there so I'm not gonna um put the jackets in just yet and then this one I've got a nice empty bit for some more shoes and then all my heat pads and sun cream is in this little pocket there and then all my socks are lined up here, which I can then add probably my pajamas, I can roll up, cashmere socks, and just anything else really small can go in there as well. And then I am taking two other bags as well. So I do have quite a lot of room. It's just these suitcases are really small, so it's quite difficult to pack them. It is now the following day. It's Friday today, Christmas Eve Eve. And I decided to stop filming yesterday because it was getting so dark and um, I had so much work to get finished before today so um, I thought I'd pick back up with the packing today. So I am just about to get all of my knitwear and coats together and start sorting it out and packing. So I thought I would just give you a little show of some of the bits I'm going to bring with me. They're all pretty basic so nothing too crazy but I've also got out a few more accessories to add into my suitcase. I've got my Acne Studio beanie, I've just got this grey one which is from from H&M, my black mittens, my black snow boots from Inuki, which are so amazing by the way, they are so warm, a little Zara mohair scarf, and then I've also got my sparkly headband, which I'm gonna bring with me. So a couple more accessories to add in to that section, and then I can put my coats on top. I'm starting to think, I don't think I'm gonna fit all my coats in, but um, I'm gonna try my best and try and squish them in as much as I can. Probably not the most practical, only having the smallest suitcases, but um, we will see how it goes. I'm so grateful that we are driving to skiing because if we were flying, I don't know how I would pack everything. I think I'd have to get a new suitcase that was much bigger because there's no way I'm gonna fit everything in those small suitcases. I'm probably gonna have to just put coats in the car um, which is fine. So I'm gonna go into my wardrobe here and it is a bit of a mess, but let's have a look at some knitwear that I can bring with me. I've got a selection of jumpers and um, some evening bits as well here. It looks like a lot for a week, but I just like to have options and I don't know if I really need to bring all of it, but I've got a cream cable knit jumper, 
a camel one, a black one, and a grey one. And then I've got my tiny little Novo bodies for layering. And then I thought I would just bring like a nice little blouse, a long sleeve black top, and then the jacket for the evening. And I think that's pretty much it. This is all the stuff that I put on my um, mood board of outfits. So I think this should be fine. So I've got my three bags there. I will probably have the long shop one like with me in the car so I can put all the things I need in there. And then these are all the things I've just shown you. And then I'm also going to bring these coats. So I've got my my grey and other stories tailored coat. Um, my white super fluffy one. This is from Naked, I think. And then this really old big fluffy teddy coat from H&M, which is so warm. I probably will wear this in the car because it's really big. So I'm switching out my travelling outfit a little bit. And then this one I can actually fold up quite small. So I should be able to fit that in one of these suitcases so let's try and pack all of this and see how it goes so i have pretty much finished all my packing now i've got all my clothes in here i've actually moved my socks out of this one and i've moved them into this bag with my helmet and the other coat so all my underwear and socks are in there um, this one has just got like loungewear, cardigan, pyjamas and then this has got all my jumpers and jeans. And then this one is all of my ski stuff, salopettes, thermals and then a couple of little other tops. Two pairs of snow boots. So all I need to pack now, I need to get that packed in somewhere and I need to pack like accessories, toiletries which I'm going to lay out on here. Um, but we're not going for another couple of days, so I've got a little bit of time to do that. I just need to hang up my outfit for travelling. So, I'm pretty much nearly done. And then in this bag, I will put my laptop, charger, camera charger, all the, like, books, all the things I'm going to need in the car and kind of, like, essentials bits, really. And that is me done. I'm pretty much ready, which I'm so pleased about. And I've managed to fit all of it quite well, so I'm really pleased. So that brings me to the end of the video. I am nearly all packed up and ready to go. I'm so excited to go now. I literally cannot wait. I've just got a couple of days, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then we are heading off, which is so exciting. So stay tuned for the ski vlog, which will be coming in the new year once I get back. And I will see you in the new year.